probably means to be contact anyone for any potential update. I haven't heard anything. And having to trust essentially what's a broken system that allows people to fraudulently claim benefit in perfectly innocent people's names. Now, as soon as Moneybox got involved with the DWP on Dave's behalf, his problem was promptly addressed, it was officially recognised as a fraud, and a block was placed on any further attempts to collect the money that he didn't owe. Now, when we raised this issue with the DWP a year ago, it told us a new stolen identity unit had been set up to deal with this problem. Now, clearly, in Dave's experience at least, it's far from perfect. And what's the Department for Work Intention said this time round? Well, in a statement, it told me, we know that fraudsters will continue to try to make fraudulent universal credit claims using stolen identities. We have countermeasures in place which allow us to identify these claims at the earliest opportunity in the majority of cases. Anyone receiving a debt recovery letter they believe relates to a fraudulent claim should contact us on 0800 916 And what happens when you call them? Well, if you want to pay the money you don't owe, it's really helpful. Otherwise, it's all recorded messages directing you to its website, or it says contact the relevant team in the DWP. The problem is, there are no details on the letter about which team that is. So, to quote Dave, all of it got back home. Well, thanks, Dan. Well, I'm joined now by Stephen Timms, the Labour MP, who's chair of the Work and Pensions Select Committee. Stephen Timms, what do you make of Dave's comments? Well, I think this is still happening much too often to far too many people. It clearly the part of the DWP which is owed to the debt should have written previously to explain, but people often don't seem to get those letters, maybe because DWP has got the wrong details of the wrong that somebody else is causing in claim. So we've asked the permanent secretary, Dave Evelyn, to the committee this week. We've asked why this letter can't say what the debt is for. We haven't yet had a clear answer. Yes, so we did have top DWP bosses on Wednesday before your committee. Did they give any commitments to you? Uh, no, I, I mean, the fraud and error in the benefit system is at a record level at the moment. Um, relaxing checks in the pandemic made things worse, but it was at a record level before then. Oh, and um, the Treasury still hasn't told the CWP how much it's going to be allowed to spend on at least it's far from perfect. And what's the Department for Work and Pension said this time round? Well, in a statement, it told me, we know that fraudsters will continue to try to make fraudulent universal credit claims using stolen identities. We have countermeasures in place which allow us to identify these claims at the earliest opportunity in the majority of cases. Anyone receiving a debt recovery letter they believe relates to a fraudulent claim should contact us on 0800 916 0647. And what happens when you call that? Well, if you want to pay the money you don't owe, it's really helpful. Otherwise, it's all recorded messages directing you to its website, or it says contact the relevant team in the DWP. The problem is, there are no details on the letter about which team that is. So, to quote Dave, it's all a bit of a black hole. Well, thanks, Dan. Well, I'm joined now by Stephen Timms, the Labour MP, who's chair of the Work and Pensions Select Committee. Stephen Timms, what do you make of Dave's case? Well, I think this is still happening much too often to far too many people. In theory, the part of DWP which is owed the debt should have written previously to explain, but people often don't seem to get those letters, maybe because DWP has got the wrong details arising from somebody else's fraudulent claim. So we've asked, the Permanent Secretary gave evidence to the committee this week, we've asked why these letters can't state what the debt is for. We haven't yet had a clear answer. Yes, because you did have top DWP bosses on Wednesday before your committee. Did they give any commitments to you? Uh, no. I, I mean, the fraud and error in the benefit system is at a record level at the moment. Um, relaxing checks during the pandemic made things worse, but it was at a record level to spend on tackling these problems in the next three years. So I, I can understand why the DWP has got problems, but this should not be happening to people, and it's carrying on happening, as you say, it was first raised well over a year ago and, and the problems are, are continuing. Yes, of course, fraud has to be stopped and the department tells us it, it suspended 152,000 claims and prevented nearly £2 billion of false claims, but what's the, it's the process here that seems 
wrong for me, isn't it? Threatening to take money from the pay of innocent victims in about two kilometers to the right for them to report it. Or, or even a, a, a way to find out what the debt is supposed to be. I mean, I think part of the background is that by the middle of this decade, the running costs for the DWC will have been cut by 40% since 2010. I think that's part of the reason why the department struggles with what you'd think would be really basic things to communicate properly to the, the people it's dealing with. And I, I've got a copy of Dave's letter in front of us, and as he said, and as Dan said, it's all about paying, it's not about reporting. There is absolutely no channel, there's no information about who you owe the money to apart from the department and no way to say this is wrong. No, I've seen the letter that Dave had and a, a constituent of mine received an identical letter for an even larger sum recently and that's the problem. It doesn't tell you what this debt is for. I, there is a website on there and if you go on the website I am told there should be Keep a to the right. of what the, at least how the debt has arisen. LF130GD.